everyone, it's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. Happy Thursday. I can't believe we are nearly at the end of the week. Of course, there's no thought of the day tomorrow because tomorrow, fingers crossed, is TEN Day, Transport Evolved News, where we'll give you a roundup of the week's news in cleaner, greener, safer, and smarter transportation. And by golly, I'm determined to do one this week as opposed to last month where we had one show. We won't go into that. Thank you very much for your comments from yesterday's thought of the day about vehicle conversions. I'm actually quite surprised by uh, those of you who say that we shouldn't do any kind of electric vehicle conversions for existing internal combustion engine vehicles, but maybe that's just my mindset. I kind of grew up with classic cars and mechanically minded parents, so just converting things seems to make a lot of sense to me. I know it might not make that much sense to you. But as I say, I came from a make do and mend kind of mindset family. So whatever floats your boat, I guess. But I want to finish this week's thought of the day run with another related topic. Um, As you notice this week, I've been talking really around the subject of making electric vehicles more accessible for everyone, talking about subsidies, talking about making electric cars something that everyone around the world can make use of. But today I want to talk to you about your ideal basic electric vehicle. You see, as I mentioned earlier this week, there are parts of the world where electric vehicles are currently really impractical to own and operate because of limited charging infrastructure, uh, parts availability, etc., etc. But I want you to imagine, and there have been some companies, I'll admit, that have already tried to do this, that somebody gave you a blank sheet of paper and said, please design an electric vehicle for the world, an electric vehicle that can suit 99% of everybody in the world's needs, um, particularly with a a view towards uh, developing nations. What specifications would you expect that vehicle to have? Would it need to have a 200 mile battery pack? Would it need to be off-road capable? Would it need to be able to charge from any power source that you possibly could? Things like remote telematics and over-the-air updates, I think, are probably a little bit redundant if all you want is to get from one town to the next without having to walk there. So my question to you this week on a really simple, short Thursday thought of the day is what features would you expect in an electric vehicle for the world, an electric vehicle that anyone, anywhere could own and operate. I need price, I need specifications, and if you're feeling up to it, send me a video response. Yes, a video response detailing how you would make it happen. How would you pay for it? What materials would you use? And are there any big companies that you'd get involved in it? We already know that Tesla Motors wants this to happen, but now I'm handing it over to you. Leave your responses in the comments below, as well as a thumbs up if you like, a thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget you can support us on Patreon at Transport Evolved, sorry, patreon.com forward slash transport evolved. I'll get the URL right in a second. And until next week, have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on Monday and keep evolving.